Meanwhile, in more serious news in Italy, they're gonna be building two detention centers, not inside of Italy, but in Albania to house migrants trying to reach their shores. That was announced by Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney earlier this week. There has been a massive increase in migration over the last year. They're saying that these facilities are due to open next spring and will initially take in 3,000 people. But once they're fully operational, they'll be able to process up to 36,000 people a year. And process in a particular way. This is not about efficiently integrating desperate people into your society in a way that is beneficial to both the migrants and your country. No, these are mass deportation facilities. And so you might be wondering, well, you know, if Italy's doing this and they want to have control of this, why would you do it in Albania? Well, um, immediate deportation is not allowed inside of the EU due to human rights statutes that allow all arrivals to apply for asylum. But because Albania is not an EU member, those rules will not apply. I have to imagine that the law cannot be so loosely written that it would be this easy to get around that. That if you have human rights statutes that are supposed to stop you from doing this, but all of this is being run via and potentially funded by a government inside of the EU, to just put it on the other side of a border seems buffoonish. But um, but that's what they're doing. This is a way to get around the the minimal human rights laws um, that that the EU has, and uh, and a lot of people are going to lose their opportunity to apply for asylum. Mondale, thoughts? I, I, listen, this is what I'm talking about when we pretend to be uh, the leader of democracy in this country, and then we show up in the way that we show up. This is this looks just like what we're doing to Mexico. People trying to get asylum in America used to have to make it to our borders before they can apply for asylum. On the Trump's uh, administration, all that stopped and you had to stay in Mexico. It was actually, it flew in the face of the people seeking asylum that we would send them to a country that was not safe. It was illegal to do that. And now we're putting people in jeopardy by sending them to Mexico. And I think this this right here is almost like Italy saying, well, America's doing it, so why can't we? And I would also be, I would wonder if this is a private operated facility that they're building and if there are any American dollars in it. Because I bet you we are not clean in this either. And I think the, the hypocrisy of calling this um, an answer or staying true to your agreement with under the European Union is disgusting to me. And I think you're absolutely right. It's almost saying that you can kill people under your flag, your country's flag, or you can do whatever you want to them as long as you don't do it in your property. So go next door to Albania and do it, but don't do it at home. Mm -hmm. And you still, you still satisfy your obligation to the EU. This is absolutely disgusting, John, as you said. Yeah, we're our hands are definitely not clean, particularly on this topic. But it but it also reminds me, you know, back you know in the, in the wake of 9/11 and the Iraq the invasion of Iraq, we had black sites set up in a whole bunch of different countries where our country was operating under different legal circumstances. So, yeah. Um, but but by the way, I mean, look, following the the elections in Italy, was it a year ago? Um, we knew that something like this was probably coming. There there's going to be challenges from international and Italian human rights organizations. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.